So last week in San Diego at the 83rd scientific sessions of the American Diabetes Association, Eli Lilly, the American pharmaceutical company, released the results of its phase 2 trial of retatrutide, a triple G agonist for weight loss. This has been hailed as a breakthrough drug for obesity as well as type 2 diabetes. So how does it work and when is it likely to be available? What are its side effects? Let's talk about it today. So what is retatrutide? First of all, let's come to the chemical structure. It is a small peptide. It is a 39 amino acid long peptide. So very small protein. It has been linked to a small 20 carbon fatty acid molecule so that it can bind to albumin, which is an abundant blood protein and which extends its half life. And that's basically it. It also contains a few specialized amino acids, but basically a small peptide. And that is why it is given as an injectable. It is injected subcutaneously, so under the skin, once every week. That's how it was tested. So that's its chemical structure. How does it work? It basically targets three different receptors. Endocrinologically speaking, it is a receptor agonist. An agonist is basically a synthetic thing that binds to a receptor. In our physiology, a lot of different hormones and a lot of different metabolites bind to their receptors. They are called the ligands because they are the small part that bind to the receptors. So a receptor agonist is basically an artificial ligand. And as I said, it activates three different receptors. So it activates glucagon receptor, gastric inhibitory peptide or GIP receptor, as well as glucagon-like peptide 1 or GLP-1 receptor. That's why it's nickname GGG or triple G agonist. Okay, so what do these three hormones do? Basically, it is mimicking the actions of these three hormones. Glucagon, GLP-1 and GIP. So let's come to glucagon. It is kind of known as the anti-insulin hormone. So let's see. Glucagon is released when usually when we are fasting. It helps to increase our energy expenditure. And it also increases glucose production in liver by a variety of different metabolic pathways. And it decreases fat formation and it also reduces food intake. So it has an effect on reducing our food intake. So that's glucagon. Now coming to the GLP-1 and GIP. These are released by two different cells of our mm -hmm. intestine. These are the L cells for GLP-1 and the K cells for GIP and both have very similar incretin like effects. Incretin is a term given to hormones which can stimulate insulin production and these hormones are also known to inhibit gastric emptying which means they inhibit the emptying of the stomach. So that's one of the effects that these hormones have. So retatrutide acts as a receptor agonist and mimics the same effects for these three hormones simultaneously. So let's trace the development of retatrutide and its testing a little bit. In last year, September, there was a study released in cell metabolism which talked about the preliminary results in mice as well as a few healthy participants for this product. In that study, in mice as well as in humans, Retatrutide had the effect of decreasing energy intake, so reduced caloric intake and increased energy expenditure and also weight loss. And it also led to a large amount of changes, healthy metabolic changes associated with weight loss. And now Eli Lilly has published the results of his phase 2 trial. So here they are taking around 300 healthy volunteers and they are randomizing it. So this is a double blind randomized placebo controlled trial for around 300 participants and here they are testing it on these participants and checking their weight loss. They followed them for 48 weeks. So these studies were published in Lancet and New England Journal of Medicine simultaneously. So the major findings in these studies were there was a maximum of 24.2% weight loss in the highest dose of retatrutide. This is a huge significant finding. This is a very significant amount of weight loss. And there was a simultaneous increase in the other related health parameters for these patients. There were also some side effects, mainly GI side effects. There was a little bit of 
nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, as well as constipation. But these were mild to moderate in intensity. And there were also some arrhythmia and some pulse rate increase issues seen in the dose escalation stages of this trial. So overall, this looks like a really promising drug for obesity as well as type 2 diabetes. Now, what's next? Next are the phase 3 trials. These are the results from the phase 2 trials where the drug was tested in about 300 different volunteers. And now there are the phase 3 trials where even larger number of volunteers will be taken and then this drug will be systematically tested. And it can take about 2 to 3 years before Eli Lilly has the results to file for a new drug application or NDA for approval by the Food and Drug Administration or FDA. So that's it about retaclutide, triple G agonist. Let's see uh, how the results of phase 3 trials hold up. And if you have any questions regarding the drug, please let me know in the comments. See you in the next video.